Speed Killer. I hate dawdling like this, growled Rusty. I get hot and uncomfortable. Sorry, old chap, replied his driver. We can't go any faster, or the weed killer won't spread properly. Rusty knew this, but he still itched to go quicker. His train that morning was a flat truck with a large tank on it. A pipe hung across the line behind the truck's buffers. And when the man in charge turned a tap, liquid sprayed onto the track through holes in the pipe. The weed killing train was used only once a year, but that was once too often for Rusty. He had hoped that Fred, the other diesel, would pull the train today, but Fred was ill. So he says, muttered Rusty darkly to himself. It was a holiday weekend. The Finn controller had expected plenty of visitors, but even he was surprised at the number who came. It was Reneus' turn to take the first train, and he happily pulled the empty coaches to the station. So many people were on the platform that Reneus could hardly see it. Phew! He puffed. How are all this lot going to get on the train? Will you go back for another carriage, please? Asked the Finn controller. I'm arranging an extra train later in the day. The time spent fetching the carriage made Reneus late. He hated being late. But he knew that today it wasn't his fault. Hurry, 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 he panted, trying to make up for lost time. They did well until they reached the middle station, where they had to stop. Rusty and his weed-killing train were waiting in the loop for them. Nipped all those weeds in the bud, have you? Called Reneus as the engines passed each other. Beyond the middle station, the line rises steeply for a short way, so that it can cross a stream. The engines like to be able to get a run at this hill, especially when they have a heavy train. Today, Reneus had to pass very carefully, some hedge cutters working at the foot of the hill. This meant that he couldn't get a proper run at it. He struggled hard, but soon his wheels began to slip. Halfway up, he slivered to a halt. My wheels won't grip, he complained. The fireman got down. The rails feel greasy, he said. It must be Rusty's weed killer. And the extra coach doesn't help either. Bother that Rusty, said Reneus. It's not weed killer he's using, it's speed killer. Never mind, comforted his driver. We'll go back to the bottom and put plenty of sand on the rails. That should do it. The guard told the passengers what was planned, and Reneus gently backed his train to where the hedge cutters were working. Then they paused so that Reneus could gather his breath. Peep, peep, he whistled bravely. Here goes. As they moved forward, the fireman turned on the sandpipes. I can do it. I can do it, Reneus snorted. Slowly, very slowly, Reneus reached the stream and crossed it. I will do it. I will do it. I have done it. Reneus panted as the coaches crept after him across the bridge. Well done, Reneus said his driver. Now let's try to make up for lost time. They did their best, but the passengers only had a little while to admire the leg at the top station. They didn't mind. They said they had enjoyed the brave way in which Reneus had got them up the hill.